picture me folded. What? Never that boy. Can't leave the kill without the drugs and the cap. No. Boy. If I wouldn't see neck, baby. Yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H. Man, it's be the five. What? MP in the cut. What? Yeah, we get it live. Hey. Most just can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab and P Y used to be uh -huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, I couldn't see. And it's life that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100. It is seafood boil, okay? Listen. <sighs> Had to come here and get my selfie stick real quick, you know, so I can show you guys what it do. I did make some seafood boil the other day, but I didn't record it because I was just cooking dinner. It wasn't like I was going to go and record it, nothing like that. But i make it again today and I'm going to make the other day I made some shrimp um, crabs lobster scallops and corn on the cob and rice the only thing that I'm not gonna do different today is no lobster but sausage but I'm making a sausage on the grill the Italian sausage so I already got the grill going the amount of crabs that you get is is like a crab in a barrel like seriously not a lot of crabs, honey. Not a lot. But I don't really eat crabs because I don't really like to fight for my food. You know what I mean? But these is the crabs that I got. Very little to me. But these are the king crab. Um, and it was $63 for this. That's, that's a shame. But if you use the fries, you know, Kroger card they was $50 that's still not a lot so, but you know my daughter's mumsy and nay they love them so I'm gonna make them for that I'm gonna make that, that for them then I have some scallops which are really good and I have some shrimp that has already been deveined tail taken off and they're raw I don't like them when they have the tail on them when people cook that because it's annoying but um, I already got the pot ready because I don't like to have the crab sitting in the water for too long. That's You give them water log with that. So I already got the pot ready. And it's the water's heating up. So I use some of this, Zataran shrimp and crab boil. Of course, I use Obey. I'm, I put some of this in here. I don't really know how to pronounce this, but it's the Tajian. I think that's how you say it. And it's just the with lime. And I'm going to put a little bit of lemon. I have fresh lemons. And then I also have um, this right here, which it says it's real lemons, not from concentrate. But I don't know. For some reason, I just can't trust that. Like, I really don't be believing. So I'm going to just put a real lemon. I don't. I, I just don't be believing. Um, I made it the other night. And it was so good. I posted a picture on Instagram. You know, I did have some people talking about couple people talking about it looks like a really good takeout. But, sweetheart, this is my thing. I clean as I cook. I'm not about to sit here and have a whole bunch of dishes while I'm cleaning or cooking like that. I just find it to be ridiculous. Plus, I also do save the Tupperwares from IHOP. I love the Tupperwares from IHOP. I had them in these, and I saved these. I have about five of these. They're really good for saving stuff in. You can go to the dollar store and buy a Tupperware, too. But if you're going to put it in Tupperware, you might as well do it as soon as you finish making it, right? I, I like to buy groceries. I, I don't know. I be, I'm a very paranoid person. I always think, like, we're going to go into a zombie apocalypse mode, and we ain't going to have no groceries or something. So when stuff is on sale, your girl be buying them. That's, that's what I do. First, I'm going to put the sausage on the grill. So no special day. No reason why I'm cooking this. It's just that I like to cook um, sometimes. Not always, but let me tell y'all something. If I have people that appreciate my cooking and stuff, then I'm going to cook. I have been in the mood to, like, cook. Like, I'm not cooking everything in the world. I do need to make these oxtails for my daughter-in-law because she keeps talking about them. She be, like, silently giving me um, hints. I cook enough for everybody, meaning people that don't even live here, like my son and his kids and wife. I will send, I always cook dinner, and I'm when I do make a nice, like, Sunday dinner or what have you, or just a big din dinner in general, I make sure to send over a plate, plates, 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes big old Tupperware is the thing. I don't know what's gotten into me lately, but I don't know. If you appreciate my cooking, I'm going to make sure every time I do cook that you got a plate. And plus, they got them three boys over there. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it'd be hard for them at times to, to do certain things. Like, not even do certain things, but, you know, she work, he work. So, when she come home at, like, 6 o'clock in the evening, I'm pretty sure she don't want to cook. I know I wouldn't. Shit, sometimes it'd be, it'd be, it don't even be that time. You know, so I try to make life as easy as possible, you know. I, I know what it was like when I had three little ones at one time, you know, before I had five. So, I just, you know, and I, I'm happy that they're here. So, that's my appreciation. That's that's me just showing appreciation. Now, we got those on the, on the grill. Don't you dare come out here and start barking your little mouth off, girl. Now I'm going to go cook the shrimp. Look at this beautiful chime. This beautiful, beautiful chime. You guys, I know y'all probably can't see that too close, but uh, you probably can't. Here we go. This beautiful chime. That says my son's name. Job sent this over for me. And um, I have the opportunity of listening to it every day. Funny thing is I had always wanted a wind chime, but every time I would go somewhere, I would see these little cheap ones. Never could find nothing nice. And you know, the cheap ones, the sound quality is not that great. So, <laughs> get this crab legs in here in a few minutes. Hope you guys can see me, because here I am. Now, look at these, all cleaned. Well, how many do you get? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I don't even get like an even ten. Take some fresh lemon and squeeze it all in there. And what you can also do is once you're done squeezing it, I just let it cook right in there with it. You see? Let that cook right in there with it. The shrimp is already ready. I'm going to put some things in the pan with it. All right, now let's go outside and check on those sausage. So I don't really want to talk about the sausage. Like, I, I really don't. I'm about to cry. There's like... Them sausage in the dirt. I, I threw them sausages in the dirt because the birds will get them. But I don't even want to talk about them. They look like... I didn't even realize it was up that high. I just ruined my Italian sausage. They... I don't know this. This, 
What the fuck is this? What is this? I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Like, what? What the fuck is this? These was the cheese sausage. The Italian ones, you know, they a little burnt on one side, but you know, I like them like that. I know I'm not making excuses, okay? That's just how I like them, like this, cooked a little bit, you know what I mean? But the other ones that's not Italian sausages, I don't know what you want to call It was like a thing of six. Every last one of them is ruined. Like, thank God, like I said, I'd be buying mad food because I had to go into my freezer and get some more sausage out. It's not turning out the way I want Now, I have to make another thing of Italian sausage, and I'm going to make two of these smoked sausage, kielbasa sausage. I turned the flame, like, damn near off just now, so that way it'll be super low. And these other sausage that I have from um, Sam's Club, it's got, like, cheese and broccoli in it. Oh, my God. I'm so fucking mad. I think that's because I was trying to do too much at one time. But anyway, so let's let's just cook, let's just cook this food, okay? I was recording you guys but I put the shrimp in there with some lemon okay that's on a low medium heat and that's what the crab legs look like so far you don't really need to cook them that long I'm so mad about the sausage I thought I hit record <sighs> really upset about the sausage I threw the sausage in the dirt and I know pancakes she better not have went out there and ate that sausage. Because if she do, I'm going to be... Did you eat that sausage? You eating that sausage? She really sitting there eating that sausage. Why would you eat that? I would have gave you a nicer looking sausage. Girl. Ooh, she done pissed me off. She done went and ate that fucking black ass sausage. I threw that shit in the dirt in my, in my backyard for the birds to get. Because they'll eat it. Along with the other ones. And... She seen me throw that one. She didn't even see me throw the other ones, but because I was flinging them as I was getting them off the grill. Um, greedy ass dog. She's so greedy. Oh my goodness. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to cook this shrimp. You don't really want to cook it for too long, but uh, look at my sausage. I don't want to talk about it. So I got the I got the new sausage on the grill. I don't think I'm gonna make these other Italian ones because, well, maybe I should now because I don't already took them out and they are fully defrosted. Um, but um, I'll probably make those tomorrow. Those ones tomorrow, and some of those are good. Like. Who don't like them a little darker, okay? But I don't know how I did this. It's so embarrassing, so embarrassing. But anyway, um, the food is a cooking. I'm about to take these off um, because you don't want them too cooked, you know? You don't need to cook them that long. And this here is a cooking, these shrimpity shrimps. And I'm about to, I'm gonna start cleaning up because like I said, I like to clean as I go. There we go, look at that, mm. And um, I got the pot going for the corn, the cob. Only making four pieces because the way my teeth is set up, mm, and they don't really eat a lot of corn cob here. So I, um, yeah, I just clean as I go. Now to make my butter sauce, you know, some real butter. And the butter that I used was two different brands, you know. I used this right here, Tillamook, I think that's how you say it and the Kroger's brand, okay, it's all good. It's just that the Tillamook is, it says it's extra creamier. So I got two sticks in there. Gonna put a little bit of this roasted garlic. I checked on the sausages, they okay. Thank God. And a little bit of, well, the butter's already salted, so you don't need to salt the butter. But you can put some of this salt-free Mrs. Dash in it. 
And also, what you can also put in it, which is really good, is, um, where's it at? Because I have to put it in the refrigerator after I opened it. Right here, it's just a little pesto. You don't need a lot. I swear this smells like coffee, but my kids say it doesn't. But it's from all these. What, what? All these. Yes, love all these. So, you know, a little bit of that. Don't need a lot. When I say a little bit, that's it. Okay. That's it. And I cleaned up the counter a little bit. And then I'm just getting it ready so when it's time to put it in, it'll be done. I'm going to just microwave this. I'm gonna microwave it, but I'm going to microwave it. But when you put it in a microwave, make sure you put like a lid over it. You know, nothing that's going to bust. But make sure you put a lid over it because if not, it's going to be all over the place. So that is what I'm going to be doing. And um, I checked on the sausage. They're okay. Um, and the shrimpity shrimp. You know, I, I do have them very low. I best to turn it up a bit. You know, I put them on a medium juice. That looks delicious. Okay. And these crab legs, I'm giving them like 10 more minutes. And then they are coming out, honey. The sausage will not be burnt this time. You'll see the after look. I got some rice cooking also. Let me make it some rice, just white rice. And, um... Yeah, that's about it. So we got some shrimp, we got some corn on the cob, we got some white rice, we got some crab legs, we got some scallops, and we got some sausage. So we, we're doing pretty good. Probably tell my son to come over and get himself a plate because um, I think his wife is at work. All right, now it's time for the scallops. Same pan, you know. Like I said, I cook and clean at the same time, but also you can just cook it in the same pan, especially if you're going to use like the same ingredients, you know. So it's got the peppers and stuff and, you know, make sure it's on a really low flame. That's the best thing. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here just so that way it doesn't burn. But I also have some butter and uh, those vegetables, a little bit of the zatarans. Not much. You don't need much. Just very little. I'm going to just use a, a peek here, pinch here, whoops, and a pinch there. Then the rest I'm going to put in that. Um, I like to put a little lemon on the fish because it takes the fishy taste out of it. And this is what the shrimp look like. Tasty, tasty. And in an IHOP's container, the sausage came out really good. I will show you them with the ugly ones too. But the crab legs came out good also. Um, I got my containers up here. So here go the crab legs. Not very many, right? I said there was nine. I could at least got even 10. Very spiky. And my rice right here. And here goes the ugly, pretty sausage. And this is another one of those containers from the restaurant. Girl, I saved everything. Well, not everything, but. <laughs> not bad, right? Not bad, not bad. How's that looking? It's looking pretty good, right? It's looking pretty good. And I'm um, making a corn on the cob. So, yeah, almost. I did forget to mention, you can put a little squeeze of lemon in your butter sauce, which I have done. Okay, just a little squeeze. You don't want a whole bunch because there's enough lemon in everything. There are some people that are, you know, citrus, allergic to citrus and stuff. I feel sorry for y'all. I, I really do. I really feel sorry for y'all. I, I wonder, is it like some type of imitation lemon? You know, like how they have imitation vanilla extract? I wonder if they have imitation um, lemon juice. That would be good for people that, like, you know, because I don't know if you buy, like, the lemon juice in the jar, jar, like, you know, is that real or not, like, half and half? I don't know. Oh. Ain't no dishes except for that pan that I just finished cooking with. And, um, yeah. Dinner is ready. Dinner is served. You guys ready to eat? Come on over. I'm going to give y'all a visual, like, you know, a full-on lookity-look look. So that way y'all can see. Really, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, it was it was a pleasure inviting you guys over to my kitchen and seeing what I use. It smells so good. I hope you guys got your plates. You know, if you want to come through and get something to eat, well, first you got to find me. But if you do know where I live, then you are more than welcome to come over. A girl likes to cook and eat, you know. It is what it is, girl. It is what it is, boo. But I love you all. Stay Diva and Divolicia. Rate, comment, subscribe. Rate, comment, subscribe. Yeah, yeah.